Welcome. It's Wednesday. Johnny Daniel here, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. How are you? I'm going to wait just a couple seconds and then we're going to get going. Okay. I'm just pulling up my. Hi, Lise. I am just pulling up my computer now so I can see your comments. And then we're going to get started. Give me just a second. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, except I'm sideways tonight. Am I sideways on your end too? Oh. Uh, well, it's always something, isn't it? The screen is sideways. Okay, that's because Facebook changed the format. So I'm going to see. Hold on a second. Uh, no, that's the other way. So I'm going to see, uh, you know what, I'm not going to make you sick, hold on. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn it that way. Is that any better? I know I have to line things up. I don't know what happened to the formatting, but oh, to each his own. There's always something new with Facebook now, isn't there? <laughs> so, um, it's long and skinny tonight, but I don't know. It's what it is, huh? So we'll see if it comes out better and if YouTube doesn't yell at me too, but Yes, dear. Oh, my goodness. It's always something. No problem. <laughs> At least it's not my camera and not my internet connection. So, the rest of it we'll deal with, right? Alright. So, tonight, couple housekeeping items. So, there's a wine tasting on November 4th. Who else joined me? I know there's two of you. And I'm dealing with some sinus issues, so if I don't sound completely normal, I'm sorry. So, um, there's a wine tasting up at the Boys and Girls Club, November 4th. I'll be getting tickets shortly. Tickets are $35. If you'd like to join me, I'd love to do a table. There's a discount if we do a table, and a table is eight people. So, I've got one so far, meaning me. So please, if you want to um, join me, please do. Um, so that's my plug. There you go, Lise. <laughs> so, um, so tonight we're going to be making some easy treat um, folder kind of things. But before we begin, uh, I do want to show you the sample cards for next week's class. Tuesday, 10 to 1 right here at the studio in 29. Uh, Thursday from 10 to 1 in Yucca Valley at Stan's Music. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, let's see. And then Saturday from 9 to 12 or from 3 to 6 back here at the studio. So, um, please comment, say hi if you've just joined us. We're just getting going. So you're good. Uh, let's see. So these are the sample cards. We're going to be doing an embossed stamping card. Okay. Um, this is with the woodland embossing folder as well as lovely as a tree. The longest running stamp set to date. So um, just to let you know. Um, let's see. We've got a quilted card here using our new quilt bundle and then this is my favorite one this is called a bendy fold or a bendy card and this has tabs in it so you can still write in here you know I'll have you bring an optional you know get an optional panel or whatnot or you can write on the back either way but when you mail it you fold it flat 
So kind of cool, right? So I want to make sure I'm in the center here. Sandy, hi, hun. How are you? You remembered. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm just seeing if I'm centered. I want to get caught up here, and I think I am. So I'm just going to watch here for just a second. Uh, yep, I think we're good. Alrighty. I'm still not used to that lag, but hey, to each his own, right? Alright, so I've got some candies here. I've got some um, designer series paper from the Spooky Cat series, and I've cut it already to 6x6. Six six. Just wanted to let you know, so you know what to do. Um, I have already a tag pre-stamped and a mat and a cat punched so that's all the stuff I've pre-done ahead of time and shall we yes no I'm gonna move the candy here we'll get that in a second alrighty so here's what we do it's pretty simple pretty easy I love this because there's no adhesive needed, so all you need are 6x6, six six, and our designer series paper stacks happen to be what size? Anybody know? You can't make it, Lise. For once? Oh my gosh. The world has turned upside down. All right, so, um, Lise, if you still want to make the cards, you know, we can do a Monday night, or we can arrange, or I can finish them for you. Just let me know. Or not. So... Um, so anyway, so our designer series paper stack six by six is what they come in. So you wouldn't even have to cut anything. Awesome, right? Um, you can pre-score it, but honestly, not a big deal. At least I don't think so. So I'm actually going to be working on this side because this is the side I want to have show up. Okay. So you are going to go point to point. And you're going to pretend like you are building your house, and you'll understand in just a second. Because if you're building your house, you need a roof. And that way you know which side is up and which side is down. Okay? So. All right. And then we are literally going to take this point and go mid-way. Like this. Full and folder. It'll work better than your fingers, right? Okay. So if you ever get lost, unfold to the triangle and make a rooftop. Okay. Sometimes I get lost. Just saying. Alrighty. So point to point. Yes. Good. So far. So good. All right. So we're going to do this. And then you've got two flaps up here. One is going to go down and over. And that is your pocket. Super simple, right? Yes? So you can grab a smaller bag than this and stuff candy in it and do what you, know, you want to do. Or you can just grab... Oh, I need a different flavor, though. I can't do two reds. Come on. Somebody will be fighting. All right, so... If you want to do that, um, if you want to, with the lollipops, if you don't want them to be loose, you can grab a glue dot on the stick and just stick them down in there if you want. So, totally easy, totally great, right? And you can, oh, hold on. I forgot to, um get my adhesive. I'm on the other side of the table because my room is a disaster. Yes, even my room gets to be that way. So the only adhesive I'm going to do is to stick on my embellishments. So this one I'm just going to use the cat punch on my designer paper and get rid of all my things. Oh, that one didn't come off. Hold on. Okay. And I'm just going to stick my cat hair. Cat here, not cat hair. Okay? So that's one. 
Super easy, right? Super cute? Yes? Okay. So let's do another one. And which paper? Which paper, which paper? I should flip them too, right? So do we want the stripes or the potion? Anybody? Who's out there? And yes, my nose is still running. It's driving me crazy. So, okay. Well, we're going to do both of them anyway, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? So, I like the words sticking out. So, we are going to go point to point again. Bone folder. I use my fingers so much, and then I get mad when things do not come out perfectly. Point to point in the middle. We're going to do this enough times so you guys remember, and then you can do it easily, right? Okay. So, point to point. You're going to be saying this in your sleep, aren't you? Okay. Point to point, point to point. Looks like a Chinese box. Maybe I should have Chinese for dinner. <laughs> so, fold this guy over. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Glad to hear it. That guy covers the whole front. I kind of like it, though. So, going to grab my Fast Fuse. And just going to cover this. Bah! Make sure to make your checks so you don't get boogers everywhere. All right. Now, when you die cut, I don't know if you've realized this, but there's kind of an edge that turns up and then an edge that kind of goes down. Depending on the look you want, you might want to make sure you put it a certain way. Personally, I kind of like my edge to be down turning down. So, you know, do what you want though. Okay. So, and then we'll put, I think we need Laffy Taffy's and some Tootsie Rolls in this one. Okay. So there's that. And then I told you we'd do one more. So, stripes. Ha! At least you were thinking like me. I just got up to the comments. Okay. So this one, wow, this is messing up my eyes really bad because the pattern I didn't cut straight with the line. So I think I'm going to start this way so I don't mess up all my folds. I should have started the other way, though, now that I think about it so I don't have to see it the whole time, huh? All right. So make your house. Your rooftop, yes. Go point to point, yes. Is everybody getting this so far? Yes. Super easy, right? Something you could do on like the football field while you're waiting for your kids and all that kind of stuff because you don't need to remember to bring the glue. Awesome, right? Okay, unless you've got embellishments and then you might want to, you know, throw them on an adhesive sheet or something. So all you have to do is get it all done. Yay. All right, so this one I'm just going to punch a cat. No, we don't do that in real life, right? <laughs> so, um, so I'm just going to punch out a cat and... See if I can line it up. All right. So a lot of our papers line up with our punches now. So there's this one, the cat, spooky cat, that lines up with the cat punch. And then we've also got in the coffee set, we've got many of the dies actually line up with. Um, and I'm looking at this and I'm like, huh, do I like the other side better? I kind of do. Um, but a lot of our dies line up with our papers now, which the only thing that kind of stinks about that is when it gets retired and you don't have the paper left, you have one less option. But, you know, what are you going to do? 
We can't have everything all the time, right? That's why I love being a demonstrator because I have to stay current, which means all the toys are available. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> Okay, so we're going to put two stuckers, and I'm going to put some Tootsie Rolls down in here. So, totally easy. Something you can do, right? And, I mean, like, if you had to make a whole classroom set of these, it wouldn't be too bad. Now, would it? Let's line these cats up, huh? All right. So, this is the quick one for tonight. And what else do I have, you guys? Besides the wine tasting and the classes coming up, and oh, I'll be up at Goobler's Orchid Festival this weekend. Yes, I'm still working on my orchids, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm not really sure. So, so with that, I guess I'll leave you to be for the evening. I mean, I could fold more of these because I have a couple more cut, but honestly, do you want to watch me do more? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so, seriously, easy, easy, easy thing to do. So, um, this is also a great craft with your kids, especially if they're younger, to um, put some buttons and that kind of stuff on front, some pre-done stuff, um, so that way you don't have to... Um, you know, make a mess. I'm not putting that chocolate in there because it's probably still going to melt because today was still 85 degrees. So, so that's about all I have for tonight. Um, quick, easy, pretty painless, right? And, um, yeah, definitely cute as a coworker gift at Christmas. Definitely. You can get a whole bunch of these done and it's not going to cost you a whole lot and they look really cute and they're not going to come undone because, hello, there's nothing to them so no adhesive no nothing so the worst thing you can do is not buy stampin up paper and have it crack on you because it's not really quality paper so that is a good thing about stampin up um that their paper is quality so so yeah tons of ideas on different things you can do with this definitely um and then dollar tree has really cute are really good chapstick right now three I think for a dollar so you could wrap them in different papers and stick them down in there if you wanted to do stocking stuffer or something like that for you know the niece that's four years old and that kind of stuff so yes I have a couple of those so yeah definitely some good ideas right so anyway so I will leave you with that um, if you guys have any ideas of things you want to see I mean obviously I come across stuff all the time because I live on Pinterest of course but if you have something specific that you would like me to work out um, yes absolutely Brenda definitely you can change the theme that's the whole point um, but if you'd like something that you would um, you would like me to figure out and showcase I'd be more than happy to do that so please let me know and again follow me on the blog if you haven't been already stampingwithjohnny.wordpress.com and with that I am going to leave you be and probably go make some more of these so have a great night thanks so much for joining me bye bye